Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Death Stranding is not a PlayStation exclusive. What's going on, guys? It is your boy, TKD1 today here, back again with another video here on PlayStation Source. And today we're going to go over all about this whole thing that went down today, well, really this morning, about, of course, Death Stranding and the future of where it'll be platform-wise in terms of the game's release. And six, or you know, a few months after as well, leading into 2020. So let's start off. First here, of course, we all know Kojima's next big game, something that's coming up here pretty soon on November 8th, so not that long away we have. We have about, uh, we're in the under two weeks range here at this point, and we are talking, of course, about Death Stranding. This is, uh, you know, Kojima's first game after splitting up from Konami and the whole Metal Gear dilemma and all that stuff and being pushed out, essentially, and all that whole drama. But we have here, of course, Death Stranding. We're all very excited about it. Um, me... Not particularly excited. I just want to know it for myself. I want to play it. I want to see what's going on. I'm very interested in what the game is and what's being pitched as. And there's some things that I actually am intrigued to know about and see in the gameplay and see, you know, for myself as I play the game through. So definitely, that's where I'm at. You know, I'm not really up and above crazy like some people here on Twitter are uh, over the game. But I am definitely, you know, looking forward to it just because I want to know what it is. And, and what I especially want to know is I think we're going to do a Friday stream as well um when the metacritic drops because i want to i want to read what everyone is saying about this game i cannot wait for that but beside the point let's take it back a little bit here so this rumor i want to pull up an article uh this came out back in may of this year and i don't think that we talked about it maybe we did uh, i'm not 100 sure but i'm gonna talk about it right now because it definitely does tie into what we're going to be talking about here uh, in the full video, okay? So we had a individual here. He was an Italian journalist. Again, links will be in the description. His name is Antonio Fusito, I believe is how I say, I believe is how I say his name. And he was bringing up the point that there will be a PC release for Dead Stranding, okay? And this is corroborated by him connecting some dots, apparently, um, on the fact that on the branding, uh, when they were showing off Dead Stranding on stage, and, when and, and whenever they were showing off you know, any promo or any trailer on Dead Stranding, usually on PlayStation exclusive games, they have only on PlayStation. I believe, actually, I can pull up... Let me see if they have it here. Let me see if I pull up the God of War box right here. Will it have it? Uh, yeah, yeah, right here. So you can see up in the corner, it says only on PlayStation, typically on PlayStation exclusive games. And again, that's not always, right? There are some exceptions, and we have seen, you know, the rule kind of go wishy-washy and stuff like that. But generally speaking, uh, it's not, you know, out of the ordinary to see that only on PlayStation for uh, PlayStation exclusive games. Uh, and so the lack of that on Dead Stranding promotion was kind of pointing people to saying, okay, uh, you know, is this a time exclusive? Is this... Is this some sort of uh, exclusive now? Is this a console exclusive, you know? Is this a only, like, uh, for the console, uh, you know, avenue of platforms? Is it exclusive to PlayStation in that way and not, and not necessarily the entire gaming landscape? There was a lot of people splitting hairs in that standpoint. And another thing to kind of back up, you know, his statements on saying that, hey, guys, uh, you know, it's, it's not going to be PS4 exclusive forever. Uh, he was the first one to release the November 8th release date, and so he was the first one to kind of come out and uh, give that release date long before anyone even confirmed the release date of Dead Stranding. And so uh, it looks like you know he did have some credit, you know, some credibility there. But uh, at at the time, I don't re remember if I even talked about it or if I even believed him. Honestly, I cannot remember. Right? I really cannot remember if I uh, e even discussed it. But that's kind of the backstory of this. Now, let's go into what happened today. And then also, you know, before you go into this, you know, server today, I didn't even read the actual quote. And so this came from a Twitch clip. Again, I will link it in the in the description. You can uh, watch this, uh, you know, Twitch clip. And uh, he says here, well, and by he, I mean, of course, Antonio Fosito, uh, the uh, Italian game journalist that we've been talking about, the one that released the uh, release date for the trending as well as was the first one to say, hey, you know, Death Stranding uh, is not necessarily a full PS exclusive. And his actual direct quote, you know, about the whole Death Stranding thing uh, and what he said was that, quote, the, the PS4 cover didn't have the only on PlayStation label because Death Stranding is coming to PC at a later date. That's the deal signed by Gojima and Sony. The game will be a timed PS4 exclusive and will be available on PC later on. Won't be available on Xbox. I don't know if it's a 6 or 12 month 
exclusive. And so uh, he knew from the jump that, hey, guys, eventually this game is coming uh, to the old PC and is leaving the PS4 exclusivity window uh, in terms of the deal that Kojima and Sony signed. Now we have today here, of course, bringing it up to speed. We have an interesting quote here. Uh, we'll tweet, you know, specifically by Kojima Productions. Uh, he says, quote, Thanks to all who have been supporting hashtag Dead Stranding. Dead Stranding release on PS4 is November 8, 2019. Furthermore, Kojima Productions is happy to announce that Dead Stranding will be coming to PC in early summer of 2020. So it looks like we're having a six-month uh, window of exclusivity for Dead Stranding on PlayStation. And then we'll be moving on to PC as well uh, at that date and stuff like that. And so this got a lot of people twisted. A lot of people are having a lot of thoughts here on the internet. And... I just don't understand why, really, because, um, you know, as far as I remember, right, I, I, I don't believe this game was ever kind of put up or phrased that it'll forever be a PlayStation exclusive, you know what I'm saying, like, I, 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 and I'm not remembering the actual quote, but I feel like when they first even announced this game and they first talked about this game, uh, you know, it was, it was, it had that verbiage of like, hey, you know, this is exclusive right now. It won't be forever. Eventually, it'll come to PC. Uh, that, you know what I'm saying? So, um, I just thought this was kind of common knowledge that eventually it would come to another platform. But I, I guess it's not. I guess it wasn't. I don't know. You know, but a lot of people are definitely up in their feelings about this. Um, but but what I, what I ask you, right? If you are watching this video, right? And you're a bit upset about Death Stranding coming to PC in six months, uh, you know, and not staying in position exclusive i implore to ask you you know did you uh, blow up when journey came to pc did you blow up when detroit became human came to pc you know that that wasn't too long ago like we've had a bunch of other playstation games that have came to pc did you uh go up in arms when ps now got released on pc you know and uh pc players can stream playstation games to their PC, like, like, did, did you freak out about that, you know, obviously, we're talking about a native game coming to, you know, uh, PC, as opposed to a streaming, you know, format, so I understand there's a difference there, but to prove the broader point, you know, what about Detroit Become Human, what about Journey, did you all uh, get your pitchforks and start, you know, burning things down when uh, our boys that developed Detroit Become Human, Quantum Dream, excuse me, Quantum Dream, I almost said Quantum Break, Quantum Dream, uh, you know, are not going third party, in a sense, like, they uh, didn't re-up their deal with Sony on making a three game, uh, you know, start with Heavy Rain, they went to Beyond Two Souls, they went to uh, Detroit Become Human, uh, you know, when that was over, did y'all make a big fuss, you know what I'm saying, like, I just feel like there's a lot of, like, conjecture that uh is is somehow like this game is going to be less because it'll be on pc in six months like i don't understand that 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 frame of mind you know what i'm saying like i mean the game is still going to be what it is regardless of where it's on in the future you know what i'm saying like at the end of the day if you want to play november 8th dead stranding you will indeed have to still get a ps4 or own a ps4 you know what i'm saying it's not like that's not going away and also, what does it being on the PC, how does that affect the game in itself? You know what I'm saying? Like, if you believe the game is going to be great and, uh, you know, and the game is going to be this 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 great thing that Kojima did in his career. is going to start off uh, this new kind of wave of Kojima, you know, as opposed to being with Konami and being with Metal Gear and stuff like that. Like, this is going to be a new kind of renaissance, a new IP and stuff like that. Um, if you're all excited about that, what does this having it be on pc how does that destroy that narrative like how does that kill your excitement you know what i'm saying like it's not like it's jumping to pc and not coming to playstation you know what i'm saying like it's gonna be first on playstation cool all good bet you know great and then it'll come to pc to a whole different crowd of people if they want to play it you know what i'm saying like i just don't understand the outrage at this you know what i'm saying like like i mean i don't you know and it's 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 not like they they feasibly can't do this you know what i'm saying like uh, kojima is not owned by sony you know there are no like allegiances to where uh you know kojima must make a playstation exclusive you know uh to the platform 
You know what I'm saying? Like, like th that was not ever said. You know, Kojima is not a first party studio from Sony. It, it, it's not. It's never has been. Will it be? I don't know. What I think is something that I didn't, I haven't even brought up yet in this whole rant, is the 505 Games thing. 505 Games is publishing the PC version of Dead Stranding, which I think is an even bigger deal, honestly, because that doesn't make any sense to me, Loki. Like, I figure that, you know, with, uh, with, with Sony and Guerrilla Games allowing Kojima Productions to be able to use the Decima engine uh, with Dead Stranding and letting them use that proprietary technology for Dead Stranding, you know what I'm saying? I assumed that, uh, you know, maybe, uh, you know, they would want to publish Dead Stranding on any platform it's on, you know, because we have Sony... Uh, published games that are PlayStation games that are on PC, you know what I'm saying? So I figured that Sony would have published the game, but it seems like Kojima maybe got a lot of control in that standpoint, and maybe he was like, no, like, I would rather it be published by someone else, um, so that I secure more of the IP, or however that works, you know, and I don't want Sony publishing the game on PC, you know? I think that's an even bigger thing that I think could, you know, speak a lot of things to it, but I think all of this it's very interesting, and and I just think that yo, if if you feel now that like Death Stranding is worth less just because it's not a PlayStation exclusive, I think that's kind of weird. You know what I'm saying? Like, is is uh, you know, obviously it's not the same thing, right? But is Sunset Overdrive less of a great game that it's proposed to be? I haven't played it, but you know, is 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 the quality of Sunset Overdrive less because now Sony bought Insomniac and technically? Uh, you know, Sony owns the Sunset Overdrive IP on Xbox, right? Like, is that game worse now because Sony owns it? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, guys. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I'm very interested in this whole topic because I know a lot of people have been debating it on Twitter. I've been seeing a lot of threads and everything. A lot of people are very much up in arms over this whole thing. But I really want to know what you all think down in the comments below. Am I crazy? Am I Am I seeing something that, uh, you know, that, that everyone's seeing and I'm not? Like, the game is coming to PC in six months. I don't understand how that tarnishes the PlayStation version that we're getting in November 8th. Or, I don't get how that tarnishes any hype that you've had about the game over the course of these months, over the course of these years, excuse me. You know what I'm saying? Of the game being, being talked about, what is this game going to be? Especially if you're, like, a Metal Gear Kojima fan. Like, how how what about this is upsetting you know and like i hate to say it i really hate to say it to y'all I, I really hate to say it but i think a lot of people are kind of upset because they can't necessarily use this game to bolster the playstation brand in their minds or to other xbox people and stuff like that you know what i'm saying like i think that could be a major part of it and i think a lot of people are just going at it at that angle which I definitely don't agree with. But uh, it, it is what it is, guys. I don't know. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Where you guys thought this whole thing. Let me know your thoughts. I definitely want to know. Uh, I'll be down there replying and being in the conversation. Because I definitely want to know the like mindset and the, and like the thought process of how this game is now less. Because it's coming to another platform in six months. And it's not a full exclusive. It's a timed exclusive. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below and make sure also while you are down there to check our description you can find our discord our twitter as well as our anchor link to listen to our long-form content and our podcast in uh podcast uh format that includes of course cross circle podcast as well as the last was part two and last was podcast road to part two on a weekly basis on those links below on your favorite uh apple i'm um, not apple podcast but i mean yes all podcasts on your favorite podcast services including apple Podcasts, google play podcast as well as spotify if you enjoyed the video like it if you disliked it dislike it it's all cool no worries all good whatever and uh let me know how you guys feel again in the comments below thank you for watching and as always greatness awaits